This is no longer about education. It's about indoctrination, and it goes to the heart of the people who founded the public school education system. Welcome to the Father Leo Show, where we're dishing out faith, culture, and commentary, and we're continuing our series on education in the modern world. And I don't think a lot of people fully understand the history of our public school education. We have an understanding of a parochial school education. You know, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton was kind of a foundress of promoting a parochial Catholic education, especially to underprivileged children. But guess what? At one point, we're all underprivileged, and that's why they started as public school, so that you didn't have to necessarily pay a tuition. But nothing comes for free, and we know that the people who paid for public school education had maybe a different motive than what we think. So check out this video that kind of goes through a summation or at least a little brief history of what public school education is all about. I started questioning what I was doing as a teacher by reading the book Dumbing Us Down by John Taylor Gatto. I love that book so much that I decided to read other books by him, and one of the books that he wrote is An Underground History of American Education. I read through that whole book and became absolutely convinced that if people knew the history of American education, we would not be doing what we're doing. Correct. Here are some quotes from people who helped to set up our American education system. What is the purpose of industrial education? To fill the young of the species with knowledge and awaken their intelligence? Nothing could be further from the truth. The aim is simply to reduce as many individuals as possible to the same safe level, to breed and train a standardized citizenry to put down dissent and originality. That is its aim in the United States, and that is its aim everywhere else. H.L. Mencken. If the public schools can keep the children occupied throughout the day with sports after school and homework in the evening, the parents will have less than an hour a day with their children, and the families and Christian churches' influence over them could be broken in about a generation. John Dewey. We who are engaged in the sacred cause of education are entitled to look upon all parents as having given hostages to our cause. Horace Mann. Education should aim at destroying free will so that after pupils are thus schooled, they will be incapable throughout the rest of their lives of thinking or acting otherwise than as their schoolmasters would have wished. Wow. This is uh, just some of the quotes from the people who are founders of our public school education. And we know that those who wanted to teach our kids were really teaching them how to just be doers, workers and not thinkers. Critical thinking is almost just about eliminated in our modern education school system. We don't teach logical fallacies anymore, and so we don't even know how to argue appropriately. And when I say argue, I'm not talking about fighting. I'm talking about kind of doing that interlocutory debate style question and answering so that we can discern the truth. We know that people are almost expected to learn a certain level, but there can be actually more. They can exceed. Now, are there school systems that allow for gifted students to rise up to the top? Yes, they are, but it usually comes with a price, and every public school system should have this opportunity for students who have unique gifts to excel. But at the same time, to say that if they didn't meet this certain requirement that they are no longer useful or capable? No, it just might not be their thing. We know that there are many students who uh, don't necessarily go into college and do the technical things, whether it be medicine or science, but they go to Votech schools and they become plumbers and become carpenters and engineers and they can build things and they become farmers. And that is just as valuable. Now, I'm not saying it's more important, but when you're starving, I'm sorry, being a computer program ain't going to feed you, but farming will. When you're homeless, I'm sorry, but, you know, being a social media expert ain't going to, you know, put a roof over your head. No, but carpentry will. We have to make sure that our education system isn't dumbing us down. And to some degree, I think it is, especially knowing that there are people who are graduating with very expensive degrees but they have zero critical thinking skills. And more importantly, they don't know how to do anything for themselves. So I think education needs to really be across the board. What are you learning? 
to help benefit you and to help improve our society. Because what we're experiencing is that a lot of people who are educated, they're not helping to improve society. They're in fact encouraging people who I would call sheeple to easily brainwashed to destroy society by burning down buildings and protests simply because they were so easily offended by something. This is no longer about education. It's about indoctrination, and it goes to the heart of the people who founded the public school education system. Might they have had some good intentions? They might have. But based on some of these quotes from the founders of our education system, it was really an institutionalization of dumbing us down. Let's make sure parents, and especially the fathers, who really care about education, you can't leave it to the schools. You've got to get involved. And yes, moms are natural educators of their children. In some regards, dads, you've got to be the same. And I think moms and dads both have to go into the school boards and start voting for people who are actually going to teach their children rather than indoctrinate them and keep them dumb. They might have a degree, but are they actually educated? These are things that we've really got to consider in our modern school education system. Thankfully, there are alternatives. Homeschooling, highly recommend. And making sure that the homeschooling isn't just simply mom and dad only, but even a coordination of other homeschool students. I've seen that work quite well. Charter schools have been great. And making sure that the Catholic schools are actually teaching Catholic things. You know, like when a student goes into a Catholic school who might not be Catholic, guess what? They should still learn Catholicism. In the same way, if I were to go to a Jewish school or a Muslim school, they're certainly going to teach me their religion. And the real beauty is that if the school is doing a good job, that student might actually become Catholic or at the very least, discern that Catholicism is all about making sure that God's children are fully educated. I hope that these series of education in America and in our modern school system is at least piquing your interest to say, am I educating my children? Are, are my children being well educated? I've got to get more involved. And so please do. Also, help us to promote our show by sharing it with family and friends, encouraging them to subscribe, and also encouraging others to support us on our Patreon community so that we can, by your support, continue to dish out faith, culture, and commentary, and hopefully be a source of education. God bless you. Stay hungry for God. <laughs>